It is a very open look to proceedings. As I mentioned, they start right uh, on Rose Hill. A small rise and then a long run to the first flight of hurdles and then quite a long run between flights one and two feature of the track here so we've reached post time they're coming forward and it looks as if Mikey Leg is going to make the running on what a night here what a night leaving them towards the starting point points the way right behind in those cheek pieces and they're gradually approaching the uh, starter don't be fooled by the sunny conditions had a walk round, and it is very very tacky and holding particularly on the hurdles course which you heard no Nick Schofield mention had a little bit more traffic over it and they're going to be dispatched at a very sedate gallop so the eight runners set on on their way absence of one but still three places for uh, each way betting the dead eight and 11 flights to take as what a night at this steady pace leads them towards the first in second place races point the way in the two-tone green virtually eclipsed by the leader Ruakana on the outside of seafood in the pale blue colors with the chocolate cross of Lorraine on the inside of red infantry in the white and red back three early on Rachel McDonald aboard Arthur's Secret in those check colours of maroon and white with Bride and Boy. And at this stage, Markov is held up at the rear of the field. So at this pace, it's going to be an extremely long run to the first. They complete it now, and what a night bungled it. He uh, didn't really going that fast into it and misjudged it, but has got to the other side safely. And they're now continuing what is a steady left-hand turn, and that's why covering ground at Doncaster this part of the course can be a significant disadvantage because this turn goes on for a considerable period until we head right the way back uh, to the home straight when they'll leave the ground again. So what a night leading by about a length or so from points the way in second place. Third for Rua Kana in the yellow with the darker sleeves for Alan Johns. White stripe on the face for Red Infantry. Seafood's dropped back to fifth place with that one's outside Arthur's Secret. Bride and Boy and Markov still held up at the rear of the field. But no significant alarms early and just this steady even pace being set by What a Knight, who's just about completed now the turn for home when there'll be three flights of hurdles in comparative quick succession and these will be the final three in a circuit's time. So still a long way to go. What a Knight out in front, continuing to show the way. Very little change in the order point the way in second place, Red Infantry on the outside of Ruakana, Seafood on the inner, Markov moving alongside both Bride and Boy and Arthur's Secret. So here we're approaching flight number two, let's see if Watanite can jump it better than the first one. The answer is yes, and they're all over it perfectly okay, Markov just the back marker. Still mindful of these stamina sapping conditions, still just a steady pace being set as they head on towards the third, and Watanite continues to show the way. Tonight pops over that economically and fast, and again they're all over to the other side safely, continuing their progress up the home straights. So they're about to encounter flight number four, and then one complete circuit will await them. What a night! A little bit more exuberantly towards this, beginning to warm to his task, and they all flick over that again without mishap. And so far, there hasn't really been a great deal that's happened. What a night has just set this even pace, and all of the others have appeared perfectly happy. All of the jockeys sitting quietly, none showing any signs of anxiety at this stage as they make their way up past the grandstands in spring-like sunshine with a circuit to travel. What a night out in front continues to show the way from its second point the way. Third for Ruakana on the outside of Seafood and then Red Infantry and the back trio remain Markov, Bryden Boy and Arthur's Secret. Down the side of the race course they go, now three flights of hurdles again. Again they come in relatively quick succession. What a night out in front leading from point the way. Ruakana, Seafood and Red Infantry, still no change in the play. Bride and Boy, Arthur's Secret, Markov at the rear of the field. Racing on then towards flight number five. Again, what a night just puts himself right and had to be encouraged away from that flight as the more momentum with point the way drew him alongside. Ruakana next from Seafood on the inside of Red Infantry. They move yet from Markov, who's the back marker over the next, but took it well with Bride and Boy the outside Arthur's Secret. So this flight of hurdles will mark the completion of a circuit just after it. And what a night continuing to dispute the running with points the way. Seafood on the inside of Ruakana as they prepare to take the next with Red Infantry. On the outside Arthur's Secret and a Bride and Boy and Markov. So they're now making their turn towards Rose Hill. They'll climb briefly quite sharply but then equally quickly they make the descent and as you can see all of the runners still traveling very much well within themselves that won't be the case in round about a mile or so's time but at present 
the cards are really yet to be played. So out in front, point the way on the outside of Water Knight, who for the first time is just pushed along to hold a share of the lead. Red Inventory now comes next from Ruakana Seafood up the inside running rail, then Arthur's Secret and Bride and Boy, and towards the outside, Markov. So they're making this turn, and a reminder this is a long run to four out. Not much jumping takes place for the next half a mile, and so far as they take four from the finish, it's going to turn into a little bit of a tactical race for a staying contest, boys. It's almost like a game of poker, Richard, at this stage. Nobody is willing to play their hand just yet, and the significant thing will be here when they turn for home. Do they come stand side? It's a tactic that's been used an awful lot here at Doncaster. Much better ground up the stand side, Mick. What a night, still just taking them on. Markov, though, starting to make ground, Richard, as they come into the straight. Yeah, Markov and Arthur's secret are the two that are on the move. They're having to cover a little bit of ground to do so, but what a night and point the way are now being pushed along. Arthur's secret, Markov right round the outside in the green colours. Seafood's rider, Daryl Jacob, has saved every yard round the turn. Bryden Boy is the one that's struggling to go with them as they now all fan out and head towards the third last up the home straight. And a lot of chances here. What a night having to be pushed along. Markov in the green colours towards the outside coming there with Arthur's secret. Dead red inventory. Seafood up the inside. Ruakana is backpedalling. What a night is sticking to the task well as they approach the third last. But now Markov draws alongside, stretched for it, but got over to the other side well and has taken it up maybe a little earlier than his rider would have liked. Markov out in front looking Gorky and looking around him. What a night then Seafood. Bryden Boy on the inside rallying. Red Inventory as well as they take the second last. And now Markov's repressed by Seafood. And what a night behind these in fourth is Red Infantry. And Markov's getting the wobbles on the run down towards the last. And what a night and Seafood are throwing down challenges. What a night he's back in front at the final obstacle. Markov on the stand side with something to race with is picking up. Bryden Boy over on the far side has come from a long way back. Markov disputing it with what a night. But Bryden Boy on the inside is throwing down challenges to both of them. Bryden Boy, what a night, and Markov heading for the line with not much between them. Bryden Boy sticking his neck out, has the advantage from what a night, and Markov, and it's Bryden Boy, a persistent ride by Sean Quinn, looked in trouble at the top of the straight. Ground down, what a night, Markov, green as grass out in front, just didn't seem to know what to do. Red infantry, point of way, then Ruakana, seafood. And Arthur's secret, Bryden Boy, who was the one that was out of touch as they turned for home, but stayed on dourly for Sean Quinlan and Jenny Candlish to wrest the prize from the grasp of the gallant What a Knight and the somewhat awkward looking Markov. So the game of poker won by Bryden Boy in the end. Well done to Alan Baxter and Brian Hall, the owners. The latter stages, though, as Richard pointed out on commentary, Markov Luke, was all over the place. Yeah, he's just very green. He's an inexperienced horse. But you, if you ever watch racing, you watch sport in general, you watch something that really wants to win. You watch this bride and boy stick his head out. He really, really wants this. What a night trying a great race under top weight. But bride and boy, Fitzy, you will not see a horse try harder than that. No, you won't. And he, you know, Charlie Quinlan, he, he's almost got the two in front of him to thank because they've given him a perfect lead into the race. And just to give you an idea, Markov, his inexperience has beat him today. He's only had, what has he had, four runs, I think, in total. Whereas Bryden Boyce had 23. So he's just got that little edge in experience. And look, Markov was wandering around up the home straight. And at Doncaster, it can be a lonely place when you're in front on your own. What do you make of conditions there, Luke? Yeah, I, do. I mean, they obviously went very, very steady, so they're always going to finish. But to me, they don't look as though they're getting in very deep. At the